What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on the free to play Town Hall 12. Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today, we're going to be playing around with these super witches. Yesterday, we talked about this super witch army I was using at Town Hall 13 that was having a lot of success with. And I brought up the point that at Town Hall 12, you actually get max level witches, which means you get max level super witches as well. And one of the things I saw in the comment section was that super witches are a pretty hard strategy to learn. And I, I'll give you that, but I want to see if we can simplify super witches today. And we're going to use mass super witches. Can we actually make mass super witches work that's what we're going to be trying to learn and find out here today so our army is going to consist of eight super witches with various spells and a log launcher i'm going to go out i'm going to find us a base and we're going to give this a shot i'm not going to use this in war because we need to test it a little bit first and see actually how viable it is and if you guys want to see what i decide to upgrade here today make sure you guys stick around towards the end of the episode we'll knock those out after all the attacks so let me go find us a base while i do that guys leave a like on today's video and if you guys want to comment today's comment keyword of the day comment the word pokemon because if you guys want to tune in tonight probably about like 8 to 9 p.m eastern time my wife and i are actually going to be streaming on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash clash bashing we're gonna be opening up some pokemon and some football cards and we're gonna have a good time so if you guys want to come out and hang out with us here tonight and watch us open up we got like a chilling rain booster box we got a ton of stuff like i'm looking at my shelf and there's a ton of stuff so if you guys want to watch the stream it'll be about 8 p.m to 9 p.m eastern time it's only going to be card openings no clash tonight just a way to kind of unwind and relax for the week all right guys let's give this a go now yesterday in the video i mentioned that when we throw in the super witches we clump them all together and the reason i do that on that attack is because i'm running healers so i want the healers to swap over to the super witches here today since we're using just a bunch of super witches with no healing uh, i want to just run the super witches is kind of like uh separated and on their own and stuff and we want to run them back far enough that they're going to be able to spawn those uh those big boys you want those big boys bouncing through the base and providing some tanking so i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to start everything in here and then we're going to run the log launcher right up the middle which i think we should be able to get like to the eagle artillery to those infernos and just get some nice damage i'm going to wait to put the king queen in until we're starting to break through those walls and then we're just going to send it all up the middle, middle daddy -o. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze here. Let's go ahead and pop our ward. Oh, that's our queen. Let's pop our warden ability. Uh, not, not the queen ability. The warden ability. Let's go ahead and rage through here as everything's working in. We can actually even throw in a heal. And then we can jump out this back end with us using the log launcher. Like, I feel like a jump's going to be fine here. Uh, like, towards the back of the base. I'm going to poison that queen to slow her down. And there we go, guys. We're just going to run in these super witches. We got some super witches along the outside. We got some super witches in the inside with the heroes. And this is exactly what we're looking for on an attack like this. You want to keep, like, everything just working through the base. And, man, this is actually pretty nice, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is going to work out really nice. This is going to be a three-star for sure. We got... What, six, seven witches up out of the eight? Because we're bringing one in the clan castle, we're bringing seven in the army camp. Wait, that might be all eight witches. Yeah, there's two on the top side, two on the bottom side, and I believe there's four on the inside. Oh my goodness, all the super witches survived this attack. We didn't lose a single super witch. We might be onto something crazy here. The new witch slap, gonna be OP, just spamming the witches and three star base. Okay, what? That, that was crazy, guys. What the heck? All right, guys. I want to give this one a go here. This base looks pretty well developed. Uh, nearly a max base. I don't really see too many upgrades left on it. So let's go ahead and let's try this one. I'm going to start a witch in either corner here uh, just to start funneling. And then we're going to put our king right here with the log launcher. And then we're going to start some witches in behind him. All right. Let's just work through there. Let's get this all working up the middle. Let's hit our king's ability. I think this might work a little bit better if we had a little higher level heroes also. Eh, it's hard to say. Uh, let's go ahead. I should have hit the warden ability like a month and a half ago. Whoops, too late. And we're probably not going to get... See, this is the, the one issue here. This is why I like the warden walk. We're not going to have a lot of funneling right up the middle of this base. And that's going to be a big problem. Uh, so let's see what we can make happen here. All right, let's go ahead and let's heal these witches here. We do have some witches along that right hand side. We have some witches down here on the bottom side but like running mass witches we just don't have a way to like cut them off and push them into the middle of the base especially on a, like a giant ring like this maybe i could have went with like two witches uh in the middle or not in the middle on the sides rather i don't know kind of hard to say now uh, let's go ahead let's we're gonna have to pop our warden's ability because he's about to get caught by the inferno 
Oh, Warden, why you do these things? Let's see if we can, like, jump these guys all through here. Because we still have plenty left. We just got to get them working into the base. All right, we're, we're working, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're working. We, we need big boys to spawn in, big boys to bounce in. Uh, okay, we got that locked on to one of the witches. All right, let's, uh, let's just work through here. Let's poison this queen. Our queen has to pop her ability. We got one witch working through here. I'm trying to save on to this rage here so we can maybe get back through towards the town hall. I don't think we're going to. I think it's going to be a one star. But that's the one downside, and that's why I like prefer using the warden walk. The warden walk will allow us to funnel. I mean, this one's not going to be too far off. I mean, we, we are going to have that town hall just ticking away and deal massive amounts of damage. But we weren't able to get up into the middle of the base, and that's a little bit of a problem, and that Giga Inferno is just going to do so much work. Oh my goodness, look at that, yo, guys. Not bad, but, hmm, maybe we could uh, work this out and get there. It was a 96%, we just didn't get to the town hall. Let's, let's try another one. I would try another one against, like, a near-max base like that one. Alright, guys, this isn't necessarily a maxed-out base, but I can't pass up the loot. You guys know me. Come on now. We can't pass up this loot. So I'm going to start in the corners again, and I think I'm actually going to throw two witches up in that corner. Uh, and just let them work and get those big boys going as well. And then we'll just start everything right up the middle here. I like the king going in early just to protect ahead of the log launcher. And then we should, since this isn't a ring base, we should be able to get a better push right through the middle of this one here. Alright, so that log launcher will pop everything open right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Log launcher is going to open everything up. Uh, but we need to get through those outside buildings. Uh-oh. We need to get through the outside buildings. Let's go ahead and rage here. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze this and... Uh, Let's hit the king's ability there. Let's hit the warden's ability there as everything's starting to walk around a little bit here. Let's go ahead and freeze there. Let's hit a rage here. All right, nice. We get a super witch that's going to come out of the clan castle. All right, beautiful, beautiful. I'm just looking to see where we might need a heal. We don't really need a jump right now. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's heal these girls over here. Let's keep those ones nice and fresh. Let's go ahead and jump over through there. All right, nice. Those ones on the top side could have used a heal also, but... That's all right. I'm not sure that a heal is the best to use with this army. And that's part of, like, building an army is trying to, like, figure out what spells are going to work best with it. I don't know. I think this has got some nice potential here. But I really like having that Warden Walk or Queen Walk in there just to add a little bit of funnel value. Like, the funneling definitely is the toughest part with an attack like this. You want to make sure your funnel is on point. That way all your troops are going up into the right direction. But we got plenty of witches up on this one. Our queen's going to go down there. But with us having, what, four witches up there? Uh, oh, those witches are gone. We have four witches up there, which is still pretty strong. But the big boys are trying to get to the outside. And that's not good. We need the big boys up the middle of the base tanking for the witches. Oh, no. That's, that's not ideal, guys. That's not ideal. All right. Witches are going to work through the uh, expo. They're still pretty healthy. The bomb tower is stuck there on the big boys and we got big boys going to corner huts oh that's that's fantastical all right we got to get through this wizard tower oh my goodness all right there we go nice we get the three star so i don't know I, I think it's got some potential but i also like being able to funnel and use like a boredom walk to help us out a little bit but let's go ahead let's get some upgrades going here today to finish off the video i do want to get like this last uh air defense going up here today we do have quite a bit of elixir and since cwl is over i'm gonna go ahead and drop down our grand warden and then let's see do we have enough for this not quite but that's okay let me see if we have any loot available on here as we're getting some challenges done oh there's some gold but it's not quite gonna be enough is it yeah it's not quite enough oh but look at this from the last war all right so we're at 6.3 million yeah really there's not a lot let's just get this air bomb up uh, oh wait the air bomb's already maxed never mind all right so we'll just keep saving we'll keep working at it hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing while wow, you watch that whole video here's another video that youtube thinks you'll like and here's a playlist of similar videos